All right, everybody, welcome to our Wednesday night Epic Epic Empire team call. Um, I am so excited about our guest tonight because I can't imagine a more appropriate person to start off the new Team Cup in February to start off our team call. So let me share a little bit about how I know her um, and a little bit about her. I'll let her share a story, but a little about her credentials, I guess you can say. Um, I'm going to skip over announcements. Um, because the announcements are basically the team call. I know in terms of recognition, we have some amazing coaches who have already sealed the deal on the cruise and they have their success club 10 points. Um, and I'm so excited to see those names. I know Tracy's one, I know Annette is one. I'm pulling it up right now. Let's see if we got anybody else out there. Do, 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 do. Hold on, my phone loading. All right, Tracy, you got 14 points. Annette, you've got 10 points. Crystal has 10 points. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all on the same team. Should be interesting. Um, Alex Grimm, you have eight points. I'm at five points. Mary Kate's at five points. And then we have people on the board. My husband's at, he's actually at four. Denise is at two. Kelly King, you're at four. Sarah, you're at three. Amanda, you're at two. Alyssa's at two. Sherry's at three. And Jennifer's at two. Um, so I'm pulling those numbers directly from our team page. So if they're not correct, I need you to go in and update those so that I can give you the proper recognition that you deserve. All right, so we have Miss Emily Robedos. I love when like Jeff Hill pronounces it and stuff. <laughs> He sounds so, like, official. I think he speaks French, right? Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so Emily is originally from Quebec. Is it Quebec? Is that how you say Quebec? Canada. Uh, and she now lives in Vancouver. And we have a Canadian on our team. I think you have a three-way three chat with you. And Nicola, who's on our team. But um, – we are so excited to have you on the call. So, all right, a little bit about Emily. She is a mom. She just had a baby. Well, you had a little baby at Summit this past year. Um, and see, she has two kids. She's the wife. Um, and she has just been dominating her Beachbody business this past year. And her and I have kind of tried to stay kind of neck and neck. I think we hit five star around the same time and um, hit elite this year. So she is in the 2014 elite coach. Her team is elite, just like Epic Empire. She's a best club 10 all-star. That audio. Um, she is a success club 10 all-star. Are you a five-star diamond, Emily, or is, has that shifted? Yeah, five-star diamond, yeah. Six-star six qualifying. All right, there you go. So that, that's important. She is not a five-star diamond. She is a six-star qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> She's beating me. I got to get past her. <laughs> Well, you know, it's never done until it's done. Yeah, you gotta wait that six weeks, right? All right, and then what the most important credentials about this call is she has actually won two times, I think they're probably the only person that's ever won two times, and the Team Cup as the actual champions. She was flown out to LA, she got to work out, I believe the first time was with Tony Horton, the second time was with Autumn Calibre. Um, and it just amazes me. I remember being uh, on the national coach call with her and she's in Canada and I'm in Virginia. I'm like, can we Skype and like practice? <laughs> because we are both like little newbies, very nervous. And, uh, we got on the Skype call. We just chatted and kind of practiced and ran through things, but she is just like the dominator of the cup. She has also placed, I believe was sixth place. Um, and the last and cup, the last we're, cup we're broke apart. Broke apart, apart. Team. And so she was able to lead another team to the top 10. So we kind of have a lot in common, even though Epic Empire has not achieved first place. We have definitely have um, a tradition of doing really well and ending up in the top 10. We at least have one team on our team within the top 10. So I'm going to hand you over the floor to share any, a little bit about your story and then maybe some tips and tricks of what you guys do to really maximize the full month of February. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's really nice to see you and talk to you again. I feel like we're friends and we talk to each other like only, well, not so many times, but you know, you know how it is. Big Beach Bunny family, everybody's a friend. Um, so I've been a coach for two years now. When I first started, I had no clue what I was doing. 
it was fairly new. It was actually not even officially launched in Canada, and uh, especially in the French market where all my clients and all my coaches are mostly French. It was something uh, completely new, uh, given that we didn't have any tools in French and nothing was translated. So I really didn't know what I was doing. How I got started is I, um, like most of the coaches, I got great results with the program. So I did Turbo Fire after having our first child. Um, and uh, I was very disciplined with the program. I didn't know about coaching. I didn't know about Shakeology. But I had my calendar up there. And I had my countdown to Mexico because we were getting married. So I had like huge motivations and I was very, very uh, disciplined with the program. For the first time in my life, I worked out like six times a week for like three months, nonstop, and I loved it. So I got great results and um, some girl found me on a Facebook group and she was talking about Turbo Fire and she added me as, as a friend and that was my previous life before coaching. So I was kind of like, who are you? <laughs> Why do you want to be friends with me? I don't know you. So she was a coach. So she told me about uh, the coaching opportunity because she was seeing that it was very, very uh, committed to my program and I had great results. So um, long story short, we got married, got back from Mexico, had nice pictures on the beach. My friends started to ask me what I was doing and I started to refer everybody to Turbo Fire and Beachbody website. So I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I should give that coaching thing a shot. Like I'm referring people to the website and they're, they were inspired by my, my story, my transformation. Why not just give it a try? And I just signed up with the basic fees, $40. I really had no clue what I was doing. And uh, I was on maternity leave at that time, a month and a half after I got back to work. And the first day was good, you know, after, it's like after a summer time when you, you're, you're off of school and you go back to school and you see all your friends, you know, the first day is kind of cool, like you, you see everybody, you're excited, and then the second day you realize you got homework, it's not so fun anymore. <laughs> I kind of felt like that. Um, so the second day when uh, I brought my son to daycare, I got back in my car and I completely broke down in tears, called my mom and I said, this is not going to be my life. I don't want to work anymore. I can't believe I'm not going to see my son. I don't like the running. I don't want to do this. So anyways, I completely broke down. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is this is when my why kicked in. This is when I really understood the opportunity that I had with Beachbody. So from this moment on, I told myself, I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to do all it takes, no matter how much time it takes me, I'm going to be at home with my kids and I'll make this work. So this was in uh, February of 2013. And um, I had set this goal for myself to become a full-time coach by the summer. Uh, June, June 15 was my day. And I was like, I'm going to quit my job and I'll be a diamond coach because in my head being a diamond coach meant somehow that you could live off of this business. So I had these goals in mind and I really, really worked super hard. And my husband was working out of town. He's been doing an apprenticeship for years. So we would see pretty much each other only on weekends. And um, we knew that once he would be done his apprenticeship, we would be looking for a place to go where he could have a job in the city and be at home every night. So our goal really, our main priority was to be together as a family. And at the same time, I was working uh, in my business with Beachbody. Anyway, so long story short, he got a job offer here in Vancouver and everything just fell into place where I could quit my job and be a full-time coach, I really took this opportunity when we moved here to invest in the business and really, you know, uh, give it a, my best to make it work. And I just never stopped since then. And things have been <laughs> just doing amazing. I've been to my first summit. We were two from my team last year. We were like maybe 20 and now our team is exploding. So it's, uh, it's been very fun, lots of hard work, but so many rewards, uh, so much, so much.
so much pleasure seeing people reach their full potential with their, their fitness, their health, and their business. So it's been very, very fulfilling. And I've never, ever felt this good in my whole life. I feel like I'm living life with a purpose. I get up every morning and I'm excited to do what I do. Uh, I can't sleep sometimes at night because I got so many ideas, you know. And I think everybody that's like passionate about what they're doing, that's kind of how it is, you know. You're just you're just driven and that's how I feel. So that's a bit about my story, how it started, how it started. All right, you want me to keep going? <laughs> Talk about the cup. All right, I mute. Sorry, can you hear me? I muted my line, and then I kept muting people's lines. So that is a little bit about her. I am so excited because I really feel a connection with her, and I'm wondering if her team is very similar to ours in the dynamics. Her and I are, are – we don't know each other at all. We've seen each other passing in the hallways. We're like, oh, Emily. Um, <laughs> and I just feel like she's like my copy. Like we're identical. So I am so excited for her to share with you now – about her tips and tricks for the team cup. We have a bunch of captains on the call right now. Um, some people are being ca are captains for the first time in their brand new diamonds. And so just share with us, you know, some, some very specific actions that they need to take to set them up for success and maybe how to plan it out throughout the month that was really beneficial for you and your team. Okay. So I'm assuming if you're captains, that means you're already registered. One thing that I think is important, and even though it's done, like, and I'm sure you put some thought in it, uh, your team name is important because that's going to help you create a vision. So you can really focus on building a vision and what kind of values you want to have around your team. So your team na name can, can bring that in um, your, your team spirit, if you will. So that's just something to think about. But um, really the first thing is you want to get commitment from everybody. So you want to know exactly what do you want to accomplish as a team. I like to set team goals because the Team Beach Body Cup is a team cup. So it's not an individual thing. You have to work as a team and it's really an opportunity for you to push your limits and uh, go beyond what you've done before. It's a challenge. I see it as a challenge group for coaches. So you're going to start with your commitment and you're going to start with your why. The same thing you would do with your challengers. So why are you taking part in this? What do you want to accomplish and what, what goals you're setting for yourself and as a team? So are you going for the tier prizes? Are you going for a top 10? Are you going for everybody to hit success on five for the first time? What are your goals? And I like, like I said, I like to set team goals. So let's say you want to go for top 10. So you're going to need a lot of points to get there because there are a lot of teams working to get in the top 10 spot. So how many points do you think you need to be in the top 10 and then I would go from there and divide it by five because you're five coaches. So really you want to work as a team. If only one of you guys is killing it, you're not going to make it the top 10. It's really what I've seen in the people that are making it, making it up there is you have a really a team effort and it's, it's not just one person or two person. It's mostly the ones that win is because you have five coaches that are 100% committed to their business and are going to, like, kill it for the whole month. So really what you want to do is get commitment the first time. Talk about your goals. Obviously, have a Facebook group um, with your team. And I would highly recommend you have a Zoom call uh, with your team um, to start, start off with. It's an easy tool to use and it's free uh, for the basic thing. And I think you get like 45 minutes or something. So like you have plenty of time to exchange and it's much more efficient than just like sending messages and it's a lot more personal. So I would say that's a good way to stay uh, in contact with your team. With your team. Um, so as a captain, you're going to want to make sure that everybody knows why they're there and what they're, they're shooting for for the month. Uh, something that I mentioned to uh, to my team, and it's it's something a tool that you should be using in your everyday business is you have to work with a contact list. 
you have to work with a contact list. If you have no contact list, you got no business. So you have to have names written down somewhere. I like to use a spreadsheet on Excel and every time I talk to someone, their name goes on there and I add the date and it's pretty basic. Like I keep it like that, that works for me. But you have to find a way for you to stay organized. So when you invite people or you talk to people, you have a place to go back to and follow up and have names there. So that's something that you wanna, you, you wanna be using for sure in your everyday today business but specifically for the cup because you're going to be inviting a lot of people. So if usually, like I said, it's a challenge. So you want to step out of your comfort zone. You want to try something new. Um, I tell my team all the time for the team cup, this should be your best month ever. And I'm not saying that just in successful points or in recruiting or in rank advancement, advancement, but it can be, in personal growth, it can be in uh, investing yourself like you've never uh, invested yourself in your business, like really focus on growth. So this was our main goal the first time we won. We did not know we were gonna win. In fact, we were number 24 on October 19th, so the month was almost gone, and we won. So, but the, our focus was to focus on growth. So what can I accomplish? What can I do more or how can I become a better coach and uh, get, get better results with my business? So you're going to invite a lot of people. Um, if you're trying to step out of your comfort zone and accomplish something that you've never accomplished, you need to do something you've never done. So if you usually invite two people a day, maybe you're going to want to invite 10. Uh, something that's very key is the cup. Yes, the challenge starts February 1st. But the preparation is now. You want to get your team fired up. You want to set up your goals. You want to know how many people are you going to invite every day. What kind of in invitation are you going to be sending? So th these are all things that you want to think about right now and start acting right now. Um, speaking of invitations, like you're going to want to have strategies. Like are you going to be focusing on a specific program? Are you going to be... Um, inviting for I don't know like so you're gonna be you're gonna want to think about strategies and one thing that I would tell you to do is you want to make sure that you share every activity with your team so everybody on the team should be like telling people okay so I tried this and it's not working at all or I tried this and it's really positive I'm getting a lot of positive answers so you want to be sharing with everybody what you, you're doing because sometimes as leaders and as coaches we think that everybody is doing what we're doing and it's not the case in fact there are as many ways to run this business as there are coaches out there so it's super interesting to be sharing your tips and what you do in your day-to-day -day, uh, life as a coach with other people and to also inspire yourself from other coaches and what they're doing and maybe get a bit of what they're doing and try try their their tips and uh, put that in your in your business as well um, team communication and accountability is huge so if you have your Facebook group that's a good way to stay connected but you might want to use other ways to stay connected like a zoom call every week or maybe uh, I remember we used uh, the app Voxer which is a excuse me a walkie-talkie on your phone so it's super easy it's free uh, and you can just send um, vocal messages to everybody and kind of you're kind of if you you're shooting for the top ten or going for the win, you're going to be like on emergency emergency mode all all month long. So you want to make it quick, like you want to get the message out. So that could be a good way to to stay connected with your team. And um, one thing that we did and I've always done is every morning. As the captain, I would post a motivational picture on our group and then all the coaches would put their um, up-to-date successful points. So not their, oh, I almost got these two points, but really their official point that they see uh, with their orders in their coach online office. And at the end of the day, we would always have a countdown. And we, we started off with having like a monthly goal in terms of points, then divided it in five coaches, and then 
dividing it in every week. So how many people do we need to reach out to to make sure that we have like 10 new challengers each every week. So that could be like, I, I always like to break down goals like that. Like you want to reverse engineer your goal. So what do you want to achieve? And then you break it down and, you know, start from the month and split in weeks and then in day-to-day -day activities that you need to do to achieve these goals. Um, another thing that we really strive for, especially during the month of the cup, is you're going to want to try new things, like new strategies. So you want to be creative. Maybe you're going to have a special challenge group, like a, something that you've never done before. Maybe you're going to team up with others, or maybe you're going to give an incentive and say, I don't know, like all the people that join my challenge group will get a free Shakeology packet. Or, you know, you can just try to... And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you know what, if you don't try, you'll never know. So I encourage you to really like go out there and like try to like see what you can come up with and be creative and start step out of your comfort zone. And another thing that we really, really, really use is uh, positive thinking and visualization. So I like doing like those like cute little pictures and uh, you know, writing down that we're the winners for the month or, you know, really, uh, I would write that down at my place too. So I would have it written down on, on my board and then, like see it every day and really uh, think about the, the win. So uh, that's another thing that we would, we would do. And I think that's pretty much it. Well, uh, obviously going for the win, you want to start off strong. And you want to treat each week like it's the last. Like I remember every leaderboard, everybody's freaking out and everybody's like, oh my goodness. And you want to be at the top. And I, if I'm not mistaken, the second time around, we were at the top the whole time for the leaderboard. So that was pretty exciting. And uh, it was a totally different cut from the first one where we didn't expect at all. The second time around, like we already won once and we, we focused a lot on preparation and uh, we were like sending invites like two weeks before the cup started. So really we were six weeks working like crazy. <laughs> That's pretty much it. These are the, like the basic tips I can give you. I'm sure there are other tips we can uh, we could share, but that's pretty much it for my How part. do you think being a part, part of the cup has grown your business? Like the not past February and past July and all the other cups that we've had, how has it, it grown your business? It builds momentum. Mm -hmm. It really does build momentum. And something crazy is when you're in the action and you're, you're like, when you're, you start doing a lot of like let's say a lot of invites, even if you get so many no's, there's something that happens in the universe that get the ball rolling. Like things are gonna happen. And obviously if you invite so many people, that's probably the month that you're gonna get the most no's, but these people come back. Mm -hmm. Like most of them, they will come back in a month, two, three, They're, they might not be ready now. So it really builds momentum. Obviously, winning it has been a huge thing in our team because now when the team cup comes, like it's been won in Quebec three times in a row. <laughs> like I won it with the Gretzky's twice as a team captain, but then my coach, Stephanie, she went with her team and she won it on her own, like as the team captain. So that's, that's crazy. <laughs> this girl's a rock star. Anyways, but... Um, so yeah, so like it really builds momentum and uh, it's fun. It's a good team spirit and uh, it's going to, it's going to follow you for months. And I know we all often say slow and steady wins the race, but I do believe that sometimes you need to crank it up a bit to really reach your full potential or reach a uh, higher uh, summits that you would have thought of. And I think the cup is really an opportunity for you to like shoot for, shoot for the moon. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'll say even for myself, it's so funny. And you, the interaction that you get with other teams, these people that you get to know, and then the intimacy amongst your team, it, it just grows a bond and you get to learn from each other, which like Emily said, I remember Emily would text me. I was laying out in my yard. She's like, Jatana, you're number one. And I'm like, what? Our team was in first place on the very first. That was the only time we were in first place. But um, 
it's, it's just such an awesome experience. It's a time of momentum, like she said. It's a time to go full force. Actually, like right now, tonight, you should have a list. I tell, I'm going to tell my team, you guys don't know this. You should have a list of 100 people written down right now of who you're going to invite. Once you have that list of 100, start going through those people and sending out invites. The February 2nd launch of the 21 Day Fixes Extreme is fantastic because one, people can't order. So if you're like, oh, paranoid, like, oh my gosh, if I invite them, they're gonna wanna order tonight, I wanna wait till February. They can. And so you can tell the registration opens on February 2nd for my challenge group. And we're gonna host one for the team. So we do it together. You don't have to feel like you got to start your own. Or well, if you want to start your own, you can do that as well. You can actually start a challenge group with your Team Cup team if you want. Mm -hmm. um, but it, thank you so much. I want to know, how many points did you get the first and second time? Uh, the first time, it wasn't that high because we didn't all max out. Oh, okay. So uh, I don't remember the actual number. Actually, only two of us. Uh, maxed out and the other ones were like close but we didn't all max out so I, i'm not sure the exact number but it was under 175 it was under what 175 like for oh, sure we, the second we, time around i think we won with 421 or 24 points i'm not i should know that. that 421 points that's divided by five so that means each person's adding what seventy five points, success club points, to the table. <laughs> it, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I, you know, when we did it, I had Alex and my team. I've had Stacy and Stephanie and Jason, and we like don't stop. And especially the night before leaderboards coming out, or the the cutoff date before leader leaderboard, we are going till eleven fifty nine. We're like, I got it three more challenge packs in, you know, and it pushes you to like this limit. And, and it's not, it's not how you are going to run your business year round because you'll, you'll be exhausted. Um, but it's this intense push from the moment you wake up till honestly, sometimes 1150 at night and you're like, you know what? Now I can't sell anymore. So leaderboard's done. I'm going to go to bed now. Um, yes. It's so true. It's so true. And that's, that's true that you don't want to be running your business like that all the time because you're going to go nuts. You need to sleep at one point, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's really a, what I find is cool is you push your limits and then you're like, Hey, I did this. Like I never thought, and if it's hitting success on five for the first time, that's awesome. If it's 10, that's great. I mean, these goals are good. Like, this is awesome that you can reach these goals, but then you're like, oh, if I did it this month, there's no way. Why wouldn't I be hitting it every month? Like, I have no excuses anymore. Like, I did it. Absolutely. And all the work that you're going to put into in the month of February, say you get Success Club 12 or something, and you've invited 50 people, and you sell some challenge packs, you fill up some challenge groups, those people that you invited all month long, like she said, will come back to you throughout the year. I have people that I invited in a February team cup last year that in June and July, they're going to say, okay, tell me more about this, you know, whatever you're doing at the time. And so yeah. don't think of it as a no, it's a no, not yet. So it's an investment into your business to actually get out of your comfort zone and send out those invites. And I hit up my family members too. I'm like, dude, I am in a team cup. I need you to buy a challenge pack from me. Um, because, you know, they're family. Yeah. yeah, that's another tip though, and I didn't mention it, is you want to have your family involved and your, like, your spouse. Like, you got to let them know, like, this is going to be a month where you're going to be extremely focused on your business and, you know, laundry might not get be done. <laughs> might not get done as fast as usually. Well, that's how I, I, I told my husband the second time he knew it was like, okay, this is going to be crazy. The house might not, not, might not be top notch, but we're going to LA. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so true. I, I did a Zoom, not a Zoom call. I think it was before Zoom. Um, I did a team call with one of my cup teams and I said, I need all of your spouses on the call. And it was just to let them know that I want the spouse to, to be supportive and understand what you're doing for this. It's like being in the Olympics of Beachbody. You know, you're just really going hardcore. And Josh is like, all right, we can do this. 
you know, tell me what I need to do. And I said, I just need you to be a little more hands on with the kids. Um, I went and bought paper plates and plastic cups and plastic <laughs> silverware because I didn't want my dishes to be piled up. And if you're on, well, that's smart. I mean, it was actually my husband's idea. He's like, why don't we just go get stuff we can throw away so you don't have to stress out about the dishes and things like that. Now that was going extreme because I wanted to win and we, we got third place and we got fifth place, eighth place or whatever. Um, but you don't have to go that extreme, but you do need to tell your spouse that you're really going to focus for the month of February. And if you have good communications, he'll be totally supportive or she will be totally supportive, um, of your mission and what you're trying to accomplish that month. And your income is going to grow. I think my first cup, I think I earned like $4,000 that month and I was still an Emerald coach. So, and that was just from some crazy challenge packs and volume. Yes. Um, so. And the experience you gain, like, like sending all those in invites out, like you're going to get better at inviting, you know, the more you get those no's, the more people are, you know, saying no to you, the better you're going to like, you're, you become stronger, your mindset gets better and you get up and you just keep going and you get so much better at everything because you do so much more in a short period of time. So the experience you gain is incredible. And last thing, uh, the bond that you create with your team, like we still have our groups and especially the Gretzky's like that we want both. Like it's a place for us when we go share everything. Like they're like my, they're like brothers and sisters for me. Like it's like your family. We were so close and we're in this together. And no matter what happens, like, we're always going to be friends and it's pretty, pretty cool. Like you go through crazy emotions, but then that's it. You, you, you get friends and success partners for life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And her success partners would message me and say, uh-huh, we're kicking your butt. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> Andy, he's a little stinker. He'd always message me and rub it in. <laughs> um, so let's see that little thing you got there in the background. There's a hundred dollar bill and a little note from Carl Deichler. Oh yes. So she was in the what was it top one hundred? Yep. So she in success club points and got um, the hundred dollar bill and the note from Carl Deichler. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But for those of you that are coming to Summit, you'll be able to meet this beauty. And thank you so much for sharing with us and taking your time out away from your family to be with us on the call. And I hope you guys are registered. I'm actually gonna be registering our team tonight. Um, I One recommendation, some of you guys have probably already done it, but I always like to completely capitalize my name on my team because they're gonna be looking through a list of, if you're, if you're not in like the top 25, you're gonna be looking through a list of 5,000 teams. Um, sometimes it can be kind of daunting trying to, everybody's name starts with the, and you're looking through them, it's awful. So if you capitalize all of your letters in your team name, it can really help you find your name in the list. So that's why I always did like Epic Mamas was always completely capitalized. That's kind of our tag name, but awesome. Well, you guys have a great night. Go register for the cup. If you're not on a team, post on your team page, whether you're in Knockout Kings, your Epic Empire, or you're in Emily's team, and um, get connected with a cup or the captain who can direct you of where to go or who to speak to. And if you have nobody's responding to you, message one of us, message Kelly, myself, Alex, Stephanie, somebody that's a leader on this team and um, get connected with an actual group. So love you guys. Have a great night. And I'm going to stop recording now.